what's up yo what's what's up yeah i know many of you are probably hearing trump's big mouth donald trump's big mouth blah 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 but i'm not listening to him as you can see i got the tv off i'm not listening to him i am doing another video today yes another video that's three days in a row that i've been on camera no shame it, it doesn't bite people you can see yourself on camera and it's fun anyway today's uh video it's, it's not gonna be a uh, book promotion i mean it has to do with books and authors but not not necessarily about yana not no book promotion or anything it's gonna be a awake no old good old johnny bach blog post and it's uh i titled this my struggles as a puerto rican author and yes it's true i do struggle with the fact that i'm an author and i'm puerto rican the, the, the fact I'm Puerto Rican does count against me and I, and, and I want to hear people say it doesn't because it does I, it, I feel it I feel it does count against me but am I proud to be Puerto Rican? yeah I'm proud to be Puerto Rican of course otherwise I would not move to the Puerto Rican island uh, I'm not, I would have not moved to the beautiful town of San Inas I would not be here right now I'll, be, I'll still be in the states so yes I am proud to be Puerto Rican I just want you to look past our shortcomings, and then you and and then then if you look out if you look past our shortcomings, then we're one of the coolest races. Or in Spanish, that that one that one that one that one that one that one or the you know trying to trying to make it so you can understand. But we'll what will be one of the coolest races you ever meet. You know, Puerto Ricans are very cool people. Trust me. They are good Puerto Ricans out there like me. You just gotta find them. But yes, I do find that my Puerto Rican upbringing does help me a little bit in my writing career. I'll be the first to admit that my English isn't perfect. As you can uh, hear my mouth, it's not perfect. You know, I, you know, some people say I got a New York, New Rican accent. Sometimes I kind of figure I do have a little Spanish accent hitting in there. And these two people. I need, to, I, I need to compare my English to people who live in England or compare to people raising higher income states. My English isn't perfect or isn't, you know, it's not the best of English. I'll bring my upbringing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, not angry about my upbringing, but you know, you know, after all, I did have a, a mom that spoke nothing but Spanish and a father that was barely home because he worked. And when, and even, and even the new time I did speak English with him, I had to speak Spanish because my mom was there, so. You know, but despite that, I got I I have gotten rather good in reading. I gotten rather good in reading and writing Spanish, in reading and writing Spanish. So, an endeavor that even my father's part of. My father's part of that I could read and write Spanish because that's something he can't do. And the kicker was he's from the island, and his parents knew new and his parents knew no English. They didn't know any English at all. And yet he can't read or write Spanish, but he could speak it better than I can. That's another that's another subject. So, ain't so you might ask Angel, you might ask me, what why am I doing writing uh English? Why am I doing writing novels to an English audience? Why? Why do I do it? Why do I try? I try because I'm inspired to do so. And for me, honestly, honestly, English is a universal language. It's it's more universal than Spanish c can ever be. Spanish doesn't just doesn't cut it when it comes to population. More people speak English than Spanish, and you know I gotta take that into account. So, so for me, the best way I can spread my mind and imagination is by writing in English. And I know it's not the easiest thing in the world, but I, I do the best I can. And and as I can see by the reviews on my books, oh my, you know, except for the new one that's coming out because that's still that's coming out in the next month. But all my other books, I just got a five star rating yesterday, so. My English has to be good. I have to have a very pretty good writing skills if I have to get five star ratings most of the time. It means I'm not one of those Puerto Rican authors that snacks off. So the best way I could so the best, so let me give you a little history about myself. I was an A student. Yeah, I don't mean I was a eight I was a kind of a nerd or a geek. But I was on I was I was still popular. People still respected me. But yet there was always that one subject that kicked my butt, and that was English. And ironically, <laughs> it's what I do for a living. It's white. It's white English and white books. 
go figure, right? And yet my weakest subject was English. So why, why in the hell do I take the weakest subject? Why, why, why didn't I go my strongest subject is math? Because honestly, math is boring for me. Numbers are boring. Words are much more interesting for me. Numbers are just plain boring. Well, and another question is, people ask, I'm taking, you know, I'm pacing myself so you can catch on. Taking a deep breath and say, why do I not, why do I not write Spanish? Why, why do I not cater to the Spanish speaking, uh, you know, people? Why, why do I not cater to my own people? And unfortunately, the reason is why it's simple, because nobody in Puerto Rico reads anymore. Nobody on the island reads. There. I said the truth. I said the bold, I said the bold truth. Puerto Ricans don't weed. We party, we eat, we do everything but weed. You know, it gets me a little pissed off. Because I, I mean, I mean, come on. It's like, I, I want to say to my fellow Puerto Ricans, just read a book. Just try. Just try to learn to weed. You know, you people look, people look at us more favorably. But, but the hard truth is, the proportion of Hispanic people that do read to the to the amount of Hispanic people that don't read it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously bad. It's like it's not even fair. It's like I'm gonna tell you the truth. You take everybody that reads in England and in the UK, and you compare it to, and and you take that number and you put and you compare it to the number of all Hispanics that read. It's embarrassing. We get crushed. More more people in England read more. More people we, more people in England read more than Hispanics. More people in England read than Hispanics. So no, so what is I think 20, 25 million, you know, people in England and the UK read compared to like ten million Hispanic readers. It's not. Even, it's no contest. We we're getting crushed in reading. We our reading our reading levels are horrible. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing that we take one one part of the region and you take all the people that read up there and you compare it to the whole Hispanic population and we get crushed by one new nation, one new area. I just hate to see the numbers of every other nation compared to Hispanics. We'd be, it, 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 Hispanics are like one. It's like we stink at reading. We we just do. We stink. We're, we're, we're too concerned about ourselves and and other bullshit. You know, and, and, and I mean, this is one statistic that, that gets me boiled to the blood. But it's true. Puerto Rico is regarded as one of the most illiterate countries, and I, I have to agree. I mean, I, I have a friend that's from Puerto Rico, was raised in Ponce, Mil Juan Diaz. And he's a smart dude, he's, he's a good reader, he's a good writer, but he's an exception. And I, I, if you're listening to this, you're an, you are an exception rather than the rule. Because the rule is. Puerto Ricans are in it. I'm gonna say it. I mean, you, you you can tell you you can say you disagree all you want, but I agree with that. I agree that we us Puerto Ricans we need to step it up when it comes to reading. You know, and, and for me, I, I think we had this conversation before, and we both agreed that we blame the the, the parents for being a prophetic. You know, they they could be, they, for being indifferent, disdainful towards raising the kids to doing the right thing. Like they, they could care less about what the kids do. It's, it's tragic. Compared, and I'm sure, and I know you told me your story when you were growing up. You, your parents cared or not about you. I mean, God bless. Parents, parents might, parents are not like that anymore in Puerto Rico. I hate to say it. I really do hate to say that. I mean, I make, like I said, I make a few hate comments from my from the Puerto Ricans, but if I don't get any, I wouldn't be surprised because I'm sure many Puerto Rican authors or my fellow. Intellectuals who are Puerto Rican will probably agree with me and probably say the same thing that sometimes they do feel ashamed that they're Puerto Rican because of our bad reputation. And and and, and uh, you know it's it's just tragic. It, it's really tragic. But it's the hard truth. So and so and unfortunately, at the end of the day, Americans and you know more developed countries they they see this. As a result, we're treated as people who aren't serious in life. We, you know, if you see a Puerto Rican off, you just think, ah, he, he, he doesn't know what he, he doesn't know what the heck he's doing. You know, he's just, he's, it's, just a, it's just a hobby. He's not a really serious writer. 
And meanwhile, he really is a serious fight. He has his heart set on, set on winning, but because of the poor repetition of Puerto Rico as a country, you know, he, he, he's seen as a hundum, as a has-been, because of the of our poor repetition. And, and, it, and it pains me to, 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 to read the statistics. You know, it, it's painful. It, it really is painful. I mean, this may sound like a rant, but it's really not a rant because it has facts. It's factual, you know. It, 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 the fact is, Puerto Ricans, uh, we just not, it's not, there it, it won't be enough Puerto Ricans to market my book for. This is why I don't write in Spanish, because it, it just wouldn't be enough Puerto Ricans reading. You know, I'll be, I'll sell, I will sell almost nil to not to no books compared to a decent amount of books I do get to sell. If I were to write in Spanish, I would sell nothing because the proportions are, ju are just ridiculously bad when it comes to my uh, fellow Hispanics. It's bad. You know, and shout out to my Puerto Ricans and my other Hispanic authors that are writing, that are trying the best they can. You know, you, you, you are doing this, you, you are making a difference in life. I just don't like, I, I can't say this in the simplest way. I I just don't want people to start treating Puerto Ricans or or the country of Puerto Rico like a third world country because Puerto Rico is not a third world country. And he's not me so. I need, I'm not a third world person. I am a developed person that has talent and has writing ability and I could write a good story. You know, I, and I want people to stop treating me like I'm I'm from a third world country because I'm not. I'm I'm not from a third world country. I have my manners. I know how to write. I know how to talk. I know how to communicate. You know, I'm not a criminal. You know, I'm not, I don't want people to see. I want people to stop seeing Puerto Rico as a country of delinquents. You know, and, and start seeing the art that does come from Puerto Rico. There, do, there are some good art that comes from Puerto Rico. You just gotta keep an open mind. You just gotta minus that negativity out of there. And let me just show you something. Fifteen essential books by a Latino artist in America. You know, the picture above shows you that they are Latino artists. You just gotta look. You just gotta open your mind to it. I know the popular authors are not Latino. I mean, it's a shame. But the, but if I could leave you one more note, it'll be, don't blame Puerto Ricans themselves for, be, for the state of Puerto Rico. Blame the government. The government is at fault. We've had some really nosy governors as a name, and they really bury Puerto Rico. And if you're a Puerto Rican, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you're not, you know, then, then you know, look it up. Look at Puerto Rican politics and government, and corruption will be the first thing you see when you Google search it. So, to, to in conclusion, if you if you if you love to read, or if you're a federal author, why why not give an Latino author like me? Give me a shot. Give me a chance to give me a read. Read my books. Buy my I mean, buy my books. Support me, and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Am I saying I'm a perfect writer? I'm not a perfect writer. I will make mistakes. But give me a chance, you know. I mean, like I said, you know, you're talking about a person that was raised for Spanish and that was raised in a poor household. But, you know, he's willing to try the best he can. You know, and you, cause, and it's not just me. I'm, I'm a fellow Latino artist because you, you may just be personally surprised by what we have to offer. So I hope you enjoyed this blog post, this podcast, and I hope you found a new appreciation for Hispanic and uh, Puerto Rican authors because we have talent. You just gotta look for it. So as for Angel Medina, be easy and stay safe and writers keep writing. Talk to you later.